So get this story, Mr. Beast, who everybody knows, had a video that was recently taken down called Seven Days Stranded at Sea right here over, get this, a one or two second CSS day night toggle animation. So what had happened is this, he uploaded this video a few weeks ago and Mr. Beast posted on Twitter or X and on the same day, this user by the name of Surreal posted this comment. Hey, looks like someone on the editing team took my animation for this video without compensation or permission. So after that, like a week and a half later or so, when users tried to visit the video, then they were struck with this video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by Surreal Design. Now, just note that very shortly after the video was reinstated, along with all the same animations, so it's presumable that Mr. Beast and or his team reached out and compensated him or came up with some sort of arrangement. And I don't know what it is, so we could just speculate on that. Now, you can go to this video. I'm going to link it here, the original Mr. Beast video that's currently up. And you can go to Mark 238, uh, 538. It happens basically every time, this tiny little micro animation that a day changes. Now, you might be wondering, where did Mr. Beast's team find the actual day-night toggle? Well, I can only make assumptions, but if you go to dribble.com, you type in day-night toggle, you're going to find this result and you will see Surreal's username right there and we can also see the same exact design right here from a person named Ramakrishna V. All right, so if we click on that, I'm not clicking on that one because I don't want to get copyright struck, but if we click on that, we'll see that this is the actual original design. Surreal only took that design and just applied animation to it. And in the original design from Ramakrishna, he actually links to a code pen by somebody else who decided to animate it already within HTML and CSS. So the question is this, do you think it was a bit much for Surreal to initiate a copyright strike takedown notice over a piece of work that is one to two seconds long that isn't even entirely his? I would say it's mostly not his because it wasn't even his design in the first place. He just applied animation to it. What are your thoughts? Do you think that was justified? Do you think it wasn't justified? For me personally, I think it's a bit much considering it wasn't originally his own work anyways. And also, considering my views on creativity in general, I think we gain inspiration in so many different ways that are at a subconscious level that what we think we, we create that is unique actually isn't unique anyhow. So anyhow, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. As always, if you're interested in UI, UX design, front-end development, and more, make sure to subscribe here. Check out designcourse.com, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.